Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I am back again. It's been a while, but I'm looking forward to get started. So uh, in this video, I want to show a little bit uh, this material that I used for a render weekly challenge. Um, it was a standing uh, smart speaker, smart assistant speaker. And uh, I'll let you know, I'll show it to you right here. Uh, this is the uh, image that we're talking about. And um, the thing, it says it's not that complicated to make, but I'll just uh, share it with you guys anyway. <clears throat> so let's get started. Here we are in Keyshot. And as you can see, I have the material here. Um, this material is, <clears throat> as you can see over here on the right side, is actually a multi-material, which means that when you open it up, it'll become much more complicated. Um, and I don't want to do that. So, okay, I'm back again. The program just crashed, so I'll just, you know, start again. And this time I actually decided it was too heavy, so I actually redid the material. I want to do the redo the material with you guys. So, um, <clears throat> let me show you how I start up with this. This is the base material. It's just diffuse right now. But I want to actually start up with this, and I actually tend to go with this material. I kind of like it. It's a simple material, orange plastic, black and decker. It's from the Keyset Cloud Library. So that's where I picked it up. Drag and drop that here. Um, and it looks like this already. It's quite nice already now. Um, let me see if I can make it faster. No, it's not going to help out. So, um, but then I'll just double tap this one. You go over to the material uh, tab over here in the project folder or project area. <clears throat> and then I, uh, I typically open this material graph and I'm just going to drag it in here. This is how the material is from start. There is uh, actually not much happening, basically. You got the labels, which I'm not going to use, so I'm going to delete those. And then you have the plastic material, and that's about it. It looks like this now. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I want to, you know, get a little bit more detail. So I want to add a few things. I want to add some noise, some texture for the bump. And I also want to add a, a texture that will uh, work with the roughness of this material. Okay. Yeah, this one. It's called oh, it's called Damage. I like that a lot. I'll use that as, as well. And then I need a, a sort of a gradient. And you can go in and right click here in the material graphs area. Choose textures, choose color gradient, and then you have this one, which you can use. All right. <clears throat> Let me just slide this over a bit so you can actually see what's going on. Like this. Now, I'm just going to zoom in a bit here so you get a little bit more detailed view of the actual area. Um, okay, so first up, you've got the noise texture here. I'm going to use that to the bump. Um, bump. And it's immediately, you see it's, it's interesting, but it's maybe too too much. Nah, maybe it's not too much, but maybe it's just a little bit too high. So you go into the, uh, the tab with the properties of the texture. Bump height 0 0.1, 0 0.75 is probably, oh, that was too little, 0. Point. Seven five. Arc way too much. Sorry, zero point zero five. That's probably good enough. Okay, and then I'm gonna add this one, the damage, to my roughness. I'll drag it under the plus sign here, and then choose roughness. And already now you can see how it reacts to the light that hits it, and it becomes much more interesting. Um, just gonna. Yeah, it's very, very interesting, this texture. Already now it's, it's much more fun to, to look at. And then I'm going to add, before, this is a TIFF, so it's pretty heavy already. Um, but basically you can choose whatever kind of texture you want to add to your roughness. It just has to have enough of uh, um, data, so white and black, uh, in a sort of random pattern, like, uh, I don't know, concrete and all the stuff like that. 
dusty and stuff. And then you can go in and you can add this gradient. I'll add it to my diffuse. And it just turns gray. Let me just double tap this one. Now, this is always a little bit more complicated for me to figure out, but I'm trying to get the right angle. So you got the goes from bottom to down and I want to move the texture I want to rotate it oh there we go yeah it's already helping a lot no that wasn't so hard um, let me just see Move to the side there's something about the way it's moving across it that I might want to change a little bit so I'm pushing the slider a little bit over and then it's about you know trying to select the colors that you want and I'll go over here and I have a, a few fun colors that I can use so let's see what if a gradient from the something nice like this to something like that now yeah, that's too weird yeah, we've seen that before um, a little bit more like this this is interesting you can also go Make it more subtle or purplish vibe. That's cool. Okay, let's do that for this one. Um, let's see what else can we do. Nah, it's yeah. We'll keep it. We'll stick. Nah, I don't. I don't like this. I'll change it up. Um, hmm, that's actually not so bad. Maybe I'll just have to move this down a little bit again. Yeah. All right. So we're pretty close now. Uh, but what I do want to add is a little bit of mm, displacement, basically. So I go into my geometry, add a displace, I'll double tap that one, and 100 millimeters is way too much, so I'll put a 0 0.3, 0 0.2 maybe, and then I know I have to reduce the triangle size a lot, so I'll go like this, and then add up mm, triangles up to around 9. Add that to my geometry, and then let me just zoom in a bit here so we can see what's going on. Especially if there's something with drag. Oh, like here. You can see the light where it catches. Okay, let's do this. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to add a, some spots, basically. And double tap that one. Press C. You can see all the spots here. Um, not so happy with the scale. I'm going to reduce the scale. Maybe one point of flex bias. And then I'm going to add another level. Just one bit. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Maybe change the distortion a bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then if I do this, a little bit more ready fall off. And then I'm going to go and move that into the displays. Press C again to get out of it. And then execute geometry node, basically. Let's see what it looks like if it's completely wrong. Might be. I need to maybe do it reversed uh, in a displacement. Let's see. No, that was the right way. Okay. So already right now you're adding a lot of details to the um, to the part. It starts to look much more. Let me zoom in here. Oh, sorry. As it, this is basically what the material uh, is, and, and that's how you, you kind of tweak it. So, I mean, the, it's very, very simple to do, and the results are quite nice. Let me just turn to my camera instead. There we go. So now you can see what it's really like, and, and you got all the irregularities and all the small defects, and yeah, and then you got the gradient. So that's basically how you make it. Uh, very, very simple. Um, so yeah, I hope you had fun with that and uh, good luck. Oh yeah, I can maybe also just add, if you want to know, on a, on a bonus uh, thing, that these textures I have over here, I, I found online. It's um, different, uh, 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 what's it called, fabrics that I found. And, and, and yeah, I, I got a few different ones. These are from a Danish company called Quadrat, these two ones, and I really like that a lot. Uh, um, but yeah, they weren't so well matched with this, perhaps. If I wanted to utilize a good fit between the Quadrat material and this one, I'll probably have to go into my gradient map here and choose something that would fit that better. Double down. 
No, here we go. Um, something with a warm node, maybe. Uh, yeah. And this one also. So now it just fits a little bit better. Um, yeah. That's probably more nice. All right. I think that's about it. So, um, yeah. Thanks again for watching. I, I hope you learned something. It was um, fun to get back to it just a little bit. So uh, take care. Bye.